Hey guys, it's your girl Biani. Ignore my little coconut in the back. I just got back from the market. Um, I go on well, Sundays. I go to the market um, and get me like fifteen dollars worth of coconuts to last me for the week. But I just got before I left the house. I got finished recording um, the video. It's a story time video. That time I got in a fight with a shoplifter, and it actually made me remember a story about that time I caught one of my co-workers <laughs> stealing. So I'm gonna tell you guys this story. It's another story from G&G. &G. And like I said earlier, G&G &G was like my first really legitimate job. Was it? I think it was after high school. Anyhow, so working at G&G, &G, G, G back then was popping. Like it was one of those stores that you would go to if you want a cute little outfit or you know, see so your summer, summer tees, your t-shirts, your tank tops, whatever. So. We were, um, I was working at that store. So when I first started, I got hired as a sales associate. So being my first like real job after high school, I was really like, I was a hard worker. I would get shipment, bust all that shipment out, put it on the floor, keep going. Like I was not the type to just stand around if I didn't have anything to do. If there was, if there wasn't anything for me to do, I would find work. Like I was always doing something. So my manager, she approached me six months after I started the job. She approached me and asked me, you know, would I be interested in becoming assistant manager? So I was like, oh yeah, hell yeah. So I took the position, you know, training went well and everything like that. And it finally came up to the point where I was about to, you know, have my own shifts and manage the store, like closing shifts or whatever. So now I remember like my first week, um, you know, this is like my first day getting ready to close. So it's, I'm closing and I have two other girls with me, younger girls, um, closing as well. Why did it just get really, really dark? Anyhow, closing with me as well. So I think it's a computer. Yes. Hold on one second. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, maybe that'll help. Yeah, so, you know, we're in there doing shipment. It's towards the end of the night. And back then, we would get these big boxes of shipment, and we would have, I believe they were called charge cards inside. So the charge card would have the item number, and it tells you what you're supposed to have, the color you're going to have it in, and how many you have for that SKU. So she's checking in her box. I'm checking in my box. Her box has jewelry in it. Okay, jewelry. So um, she's checking it in. She comes up to me. She's like, hey, D, um, I got a charge card for this, but I didn't get the product. So she gives it to me. And I'm like, well, let's just put, you know, put zero on there. If you didn't receive something, you put zero. Or if you receive something, but not the quantity that you're supposed to, you just account for what you have. So we um, put zero on that charge card. And then there was another watch there. There one watch was like, it was a black watch. It was square black watch and it had studs all over it. And then the other watch that we didn't have, it was a pink one. So the black one came, I was like, oh, I like this. So I sat that one on the side. So they didn't even hit it to the sales floor. Like I like that watch. So I sat it on the side and I purchased, I purchased it the next day when my manager came in so she could ring me up. So later that night after we finished all our shipment, I'm like cleaning up and getting the trash together. So, you know, coming from the Caribbean, you don't like to waste nothing. So my thing was, okay, I'm not going to throw away a bunch of half empty bags. I made more work for myself. So I would basically consolidate all the trash bags because at that point, it's nothing but plastic anyway. You know, it's not like garbage. It's just trash, plastic. So I'm going through, I'm consolidating the bags and putting everything together in one bag so we don't have a bunch of like half empty bags to take out. So when I'm consolidating the bags... I find an empty uh, empty box watch. Back then the watches came in like these little silver tins and they had a clear plastic top so you can kind of see what's on the inside once you put them into your um, plastic display. So I'm consolidating and I'm like, what the hell, this box just fall out of the damn um, the trash bag. So I get the box and I look on the bottom of it and it's the skew that matches up to the watch that we supposedly didn't have. So I'm like, okay, well, that's weird, you know. So I just consolidate everything. And shortly after she finished her um, her shipment, she goes to the bathroom. So I'm like, okay, I, didn't, I saw it, but I didn't think too much of it. So then she comes out of the bathroom 
and I had her watch my register. So I was like, you know, watch the register. I got to go use the bathroom. So I go in the bathroom and <laughs> her purse is in there, right? Because back, like, back then we had a small bathroom. We didn't have lockers or anything. We used to keep our, our purses behind the cash wrap in this bin. We would lock them up. But for some reason that day, her, her purse, her um, pocketbook was in the bathroom, which wasn't like a normal. It wasn't something that, is that a, is that a word? A normal, a normal, a natural? It wasn't abnormal, abnormal. It wasn't abnormal um, for that to happen, but all this stuff just started clicking. The fact that we had a, a charge card um, for product that we didn't receive, this empty box that was in her trash can, her going to the bathroom right after she finished, finished her shipment. So all this stuff just like stuck out a little bit in my head. So I got, I go to the bathroom and I'm in there and her stuff is on, just thrown over on the side. So <laughs> I touch her coat and I think something in me purposely like let her stuff fall. So her stuff falls to the floor and the freaking pink watch falls out of her back, out of her, um, her pocket. It fell out of either her pocketbook or her, um, her jacket pocket. And I'm like, get the hell out of here. So it was a pink watch with the little studs in her stuff. So I'm like, this fucking girl is stealing. So I didn't take it out. I put it back. I put it back in her stuff. I come out of the bathroom, cool as hell, nothing happened. So I was like, oh, thank you for watching my register. So she's doing the fitting room. She starts cleaning. So I call my boss straight up. I call my boss. I'm like, Lori, um, your girl is in here stealing. Like I just found merchandise on her person. Like, and I told her the whole story, what happened? So she's like, okay, well, um, you know, I'll take care of it. I think it was that, that night it was a Thursday and we got paid on Fridays. So she was like, okay, well, thank you. You know, thank you for telling me. Just make sure when you leave tonight, do everything like you normally would do. Check her, check every, cause every time we leave the store, um, we get our stuff checked. So we got to do bunny ears to our pockets, pull all the stuff out of our pockets, open our book bag, we get searched. You can't put your hand in somebody's bag though, but they open it up and you just look through. So we, you know, everything was normal for the end of the night. I sure as hell didn't let her ring on my register for the rest of the night though, because your sticky finger is not going to make my register short. So we close off the store. Um, I, you know, check her out at the front and we leave. So the next day, um, when <laughs> the next day she comes down for her check, I don't know what the conversation was between her and my manager, but she basically was told, you know, here's your check. Don't come back. So she got fired. So I was just like, damn, like why? I don't know how long it was going on, but it could not have been the first time. I, I honestly refuse to believe that that was the first time that she shoplifted, like she stole while she was working there, you know, and got caught at that, like. I'm good, but I'm like, damn, like I'm not that fucking good. You know, I was, I was really good back then at catching shoplifters and stuff like that. So I honestly do not believe that was her first time. Um, needless to say, like she got fired or whatever. And then the weird thing about it, and it was weird because I saw her maybe like a few weeks later down on 60th street. So she didn't know what took place with me. She didn't know that I, you know, told Lori about the stuff in her, on her person or whatever. So I don't know what Lori said to her when she got fired, but she didn't know that I saw the pink watch on her, you know, in her stuff. So don't you know this girl walking down 60th street, she said hi to me and this bitch had the fucking watch on. She sure as hell was wearing the pink watch and I was wearing the black one looking like Bobsy twins. I was like this damn girl, but how pe people just be stealing from their damn jobs. <laughs> she was probably like, I don't want to, maybe 16, 16 or 17 back then. Yeah. So she got fired for shoplifting. That was like, I don't know if I ever caught anybody else that I work with shoplifting, but I remember that story because I distinctly remember like, damn, my first night closing and this girl, I'm about to get this damn girl fired. Well, she got herself fired, but I was glad she got caught because you taking a raise out my pocket at the end of the year, you know, for inventory and stuff. But that's my story for somebody shoplifting. That's, I don't know, it's, it's hilarious as hell. I could tell you guys so many stories about working at G&G, &G, people peeing on the floors, stealing panties, like just the ratchet stuff that happened back in retail at that time. I'm so glad that I am out of it. Like, honestly, I do miss retail from time to time. 
just the ringing on the register stuff because I was fast on the register. I could ring on two registers at one time and get you the hell up out the store. But I can't, I don't think I could go, go back to doing no damn retail. Anyhow, guys, that's my story about the time I caught one of my co-workers shoplifting. If you have any stories like that, just tell me about it down below. I'm dying to see like... How do you guys like, how do you handle that stuff? Do you say something to the person at that time or do you just play it cool so that they have no way to kind of, I don't know, like how do you handle that type of stuff? Leave your comment down below. If this was you, if you had this happen to you, would you have taken the watch out and showed it to her at that time or would you have played it like I played it? Let me know down below. I don't think I would have changed anything. I think I would have left it as is because... At the end of the night, I'm not trying to stay later and close the store and get you, you know, because you, you stole and I got to close the store out by myself. You going to finish working and close this damn store out, but you just not going to come back for another shift. I'm not going to get myself. It, there's no need for both of us to be screwed at the end of the day. You know, that's all I'm saying. So anyway, guys, until next time, it's your girl, Miani. Keep rising.